whether you're right or wrong, these weirdo males will always have something to say. Like, it's kind of weird. At this point, he's obsessed with me. Like, he... Oh, my goodness, y'all. My crush called me boo. <laughs> Amani, babes, come on. Come on. You know... You know I love you now. You're a money pot. Your content, I love it. And I gotta react. Peace and blessings, you ugly mofos, and welcome to another episode of He Rants. I am your host, Felix Long Trousers. <laughs> Alright, let's not waste no more time. Let's get right into this reaction. Hey, before we start this reaction, uh, I'm pretty sure at this point, a lot of y'all already watched this video, right? By Amani Talks. I, you know, it, it went viral like the end of February and everything, right? And I never made a reaction to it. I always said I was going to, but I was just like, ah, I already watched it. There's no point in me making this reaction and everything like that. But, you know, some stuff happened afterwards. And I, <laughs> we, have, we have to get into that, right? But before we get into that, let me just play the original video. So for those of you guys who haven't watched it, you guys see what I'm talking about. Hey you guys, so I recently broke up with my boyfriend and I didn't think that I was gonna share this experience or this story just because it's not that big of a deal and it's kind of private too, but I decided to share it because I felt like the girls really needed to hear about this. Um, so there are two major points I'm gonna make and I'm gonna try to keep this very short. So number one, the way that God has carried me throughout this breakup is really nothing short of amazing and unbelievable usually after a breakup i'm a mess like i've been known to cry in the club over a breakup like i'm telling you days weeks you know and the fact that that has not been my experience this time is only because of god and i've been really trying to get back to my relationship with him first and foremost so that he is leading my relationships from now on number two is i feel like a lot of so I'm sorry. I, I still gotta get my commentary, even though I, I, I told you I didn't make a reaction to this video, so I gotta have to say some stuff. You know, just a mere fact. If you guys seen a few of my other videos, I'm tired of hearing this stuff, man. Stop using God as a reason why you're an f boy. All right. Stop using God as like, oh yeah, God is gonna send me the right person. Shut up. God has definitely already sent you the right person. You probably most likely already avoided that person, right? And God has been hitting you in the face with the right person for God knows how long. Even though this girl is like, what, 21, 22? I'm not sure. But you choose to ignore it. Hey, it is what it is. Though. Let's keep going. I feel like a lot of times when we all see these breakup stories, especially coming from the woman's perspective, it's always like this horror story. Like, you know, the stuff that she's been through and what he put her through and all the stuff that she put up with. And we all look at her like, girl, why was you in that relationship? Like, why did you stay? Because... She's over-exaggerating what really happened. Most of the time, a lot of joints, if you, if, if you talk to a lot of joints, that would make it seem like their ex was the worst person ever, right? They would say, oh, this guy did this. You know, he used to punch babies on the weekends. Like, they're going to say anything. And just to be like, they'd be the victim. Just the professional victim Olympics, right? So, that's probably the main reason. Of course, there's this outlier, this situation that girls be in bad relationships. Yes, yes. And he's like, yo, why are you still with that guy yet? But a lot of the times, bro, it's not even like that, bro. Like, a lot of times a girl probably even be a little bit of the problem as well, right? Most of the time when those girls tell you the stories, they never tell you that they did anything. In their relationship, they were just an angel. They were God's gifts to earth. Like, they were just doing everything, cooking, cleaning, everything. And he was just a terrible guy. Okay, all right. Like, why did you stay? But when I tell you guys that that's not my experience at all, like, it just wasn't. My ex was a great guy. Like, even after we broke up, still sending me flowers to my apartment. You know, like, just a great guy, but for somebody else. And we didn't break up because of anything that he did to me, anything that I found out or anything, or anything that I did to him. We literally broke up because just of small things that led me to understand that this was not my husband. And so I needed to make room for my husband by exiting that relationship um but i'm telling you the way that he treated me within this relationship was so good he's raised my standard and you guys know that my standards are already high to begin with but my ex treated me so well in our relationship that it was like if i mean you guys are hearing it straight from the horse's mouth right? <laughs> like you guys are you guys are hearing it straight from the horse's mouth so when dudes is coming out here saying like, man, it's like nothing's good enough for these women. And they 
you know, women try to come back and be like, no, no, you guys are just, you guys don't know, step up to the bar and everything. That's the problem. Show them this video. <laughs> show, show them, show them this video, son. Bro, this guy's a, a grade A super simp. Grade A super simp. You guys tell me that we broke up and I'm still sending you flowers? That's probably why she don't want to be with him. Like, yo, this guy's a simp. This guy's just doing all this. Like, I'm not worth all this. Like, of course, I'm going to say I'm worth all this. I want all this. Yes, but you're treating me too well. I mean, just the fact that you treat me too well makes me feel like you don't get bitches. And I can't be with a dude who don't get bitches. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to make the other girls jealous. So, you know what I'm saying? So, if that's the case, I'm going to have to deuces regardless of how good you're treating me. What? And now the next guy got to do even better than you and still get bitches. When do we start saying that this is delusion? I, 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 I don't I don't know. Let's keep going. If, if the next guy, he's made it harder for the next guy. Because if the next guy isn't coming like my ex or better, then off the rip, you can get to step in. Like, so, you know, breakups don't always have to be this, oh, I'm, I'm learning a hard lesson or I went through some traumatic experience. Not every relationship is going to end up in a marriage. And the ones that don't end up in marriage doesn't mean that it has to be messy or, you know, as long as you're upholding your standards within the relationship, it should be a positive experience. And honestly, my relationship was a positive experience. And I'm telling you, like, I have nothing bad to say about him. And um, we're still friends. We still talk and everything. But um, I just don't feel like the girls hear that often about a relationship that you get out of that has raised, like, raised your standards. That, like, he's treating me so well. Like, the next guy is going to be hard for him, you know. So I just wanted you guys to hear that because not every breakup is a horror story. And not every breakup is some hard learning lesson. Some breakups are really because you're just maturing and you want different types of relationships. And you just came to understand, like, I don't see myself mirroring that person. So let's not waste each other's time and that's pretty much what this was but like i said great guy love him and yeah that's it sometimes i wish i could just like not age right and just live for like a whole thousand years or something like that just so i can see like the choices that people make how it affects them in the future right i want to see it in real time right because there's only so many how many decades am i gonna be allowed to see joints make this bad decision of having a guy who's this good right this nice of a guy and you fumble the bag and then see you get older and see that you can't find a guy that's similar to this guy that you were with like i just i just want to see like i want to see the real top like it was like I'm, thank god i'm young enough to see this like who knows like i, I want to see how this turns out with her in the future but yeah that was the original video that went viral a lot of dudes was was up in arms when she made this video and rightfully so because she sounds crazy this guy was so good that he made you raise your standards right you didn't even realize your standards was already high this guy exceeded your standards now you are going out to the dating world while right now granted she's in her prime this is the best she's probably gonna look right she's in her prime so she's going out to the dating world and finding another guy who's similar to this guy but he is required to do even more than this guy who wasn't good enough to be her husband. Not good enough to be your husband. Okay, that makes sense. So I've been made aware that the last couple of weeks that the males have hated my video that I was talking about my breakup and I was saying I broke up with my boyfriend, but he was a good guy, treated me well, but he was not my husband, so we broke up. They had a problem with that because basically what they're saying is good enough should be good enough. But let me tell you one thing, good enough was never good enough for me. I live my life on 10 with everything that I do. I'm not going to look at something that's good and think that it's husband because here, here's, the, here's what it is. Good enough is right here. This is a good boyfriend. This is a husband, okay? And a lot of y'all date men that are in the gutter. See, I feel bad for not only the, you know, the men be acting crazy anyway, but I feel bad for the women that didn't, didn't understand me because that means that you really like live your life with a scarcity mindset of, oh, I'm gonna take good enough because I'll never get better than good enough. Girl, I, I will always get better than good enough. And it honestly just really made me sad to see the women that didn't understand what I was talking about because, sis, that means that you dated people that did not treat you well. A prerequisite to dating me is that you treat me well. That's the bare minimum. And the fact that you are not getting bare minimum, I feel sorry for you, sis, but I can't live my life that way. 
the delusion is crazy, right? Even, even the, listen, listen. I want you guys to understand how strong the sisterhood is. The sisterhood is immensely strong, right? It takes a lot to make it waver. But when it starts going so far off the rails, some women are like, "All right, guys, <laughs> all right, guys, this joint's a loon. <laughs> like, this joint's a straight up loon. She's crazy. She's nuts." You should have somewhat of a scarcity mindset when it comes to this. At the end of the day, like I've said this many times, women, there's more women on earth than men. There's more women, at least in America, than men, right? In the West. I think the same thing in Europe, too. I think Europe is even worse. There's even less men in Europe. I mean, it's not like drastically, but it's like still. So now you got to siphon off the, the good guys, bad guys, guys that are locked up, guys that are gay, all that. Stuff. Like, it's, Once you start dropping these people off the number starts dwindling how many guys are other guys was taken you know what i'm saying like the guys who are available for a relationship starts really getting down right and now you got to pray that you find a good guy who's good enough to send you flowers even though you guys are no longer in a relationship and was be like, i don't think she understands bro like and i think the reason is she's been spoiled by simps because even her ex was a simp she's been spoiled by simps and she doesn't realize that, yo, this is, first of all, what you have right now is not going to last forever. Eventually, you're going to start looking less attractive. God forbid you get a baby. Your value is going to start dropping. You can't keep moving like this. So a lot of women are scared to settle. And it's like, it's weird because a lot of women who are saying they're settling, they're not even really settling. You are legitimately just getting what you are capable of getting. You think you are higher than what you are. So in your mind, you're thinking you're settling. You're not settling. That's the caliber of man you deserve. <laughs> Let's be real. That's the caliber of man you deserve. It's somebody, I don't know why people are scared to tell you the truth. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, with that video, after that video came out, there was this guy by the name, I think, Mark Scarface Mark or something like that on, on TikTok. Shout out to the guy. And uh, he made a video that was exactly, not exactly, but close enough to this uh, Imani Talks freaking video. And hey, he was getting a lot of backlash because under her original video, uh, she was getting some praise. Even though she said some women didn't understand her, a lot of women were praising like, yeah, sometimes you just got to, you know, sometimes these guys not your husband. Sometimes you got to know better and just leave and all that stuff. Saying stupid stuff, this delusional stuff. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, he was good, but not good for you. Yeah, I understand. This is why the divorce rate is so high, bro. Like, women are getting to marriages and everything, <laughs> thinking, expecting one thing, and then it doesn't end up being the fantasy, the fake reality that they live in, and then they file for divorce, and it's it's crazy. But let me show you Scarface Mark's video real quick. All right, y'all. So I just broke up with my ex of five years, and I literally have no complaints about her. Like, she was perfect, right? I used to, like, didn't have a car. Now I have a car. But when I didn't have a car, she used to let me ride around in her car all day while she was at work. And I still didn't have a job. And I, I like, and it doesn't get any better than that. She used to pay for all the meals. She paid for the bills, all that, until I got my stuff together. But it was just something about her. It was just something about her I just couldn't comprehend. Like, I can't really explain it to y'all. But she was so perfect. But... You know how somebody can be good to you, but they're just not that that good person to you. You know, like they're that perfect person, but it's just to me, it's more than just being a perfect person. Like, but they just wasn't that perfect person for me. If you get what I'm saying, like it just doesn't make sense. Like, and I know it doesn't make sense, but I'm going to try to make it make sense. But she was so perfect. In every aspect, she looked good, made good money. Like, I made 30000 that year, but she made 120000 And she still humbled herself down to come mess with me. She buys me meals. Even to this day, like, I go home, she'll text me, ask me how my day's going. And then, like, she'll door dash me some food while I'm just at the, at the crib not doing anything. And it's just like, I really can't. Uh, it's just, I had to make room for who I truly love. Like, even though she was all good and dandy and perfect, I have to make room for my wife. Like, someone who I truly love, even though she might not be as good as this person over here, me and her goals just didn't align. So I'm just going to let her go and let, I'm going to let the bird fly. You know, I'm going to let, I'm going to let that go, even though she was good to me. I just have to let her go. Like, she'll be good to somebody else. I, I have to really let her fly away.
Like, honestly, she was a blessing to my life, though. So perfect. Good girl. Let me drive her car for real every day. But she literally took care of me. She literally upped my standards. She upped my standards. So now y'all know my standards are already high. She literally upped my standards. So now y'all know what's going on. On to the next. I'm about to find, I'm about to find my wife, y'all. For real. And as you can see, see how stupid it sounds? Like when, it, when it's coming from a dude, right? It, it, it sounds stupid. It sounds stupid coming from her. But I feel like when it comes from a dude, it's like women have this thing like, damn. When it's, when I, when I hear other women say something, it doesn't sound stupid. When I hear a man says it, it really sounds like idiocracy. Idi I don't know why I stuttered. Yeah. Stuttering. What's, what's wrong with me? Like, So he was getting attacked in the comments. Everybody's like, "City, this is why you can't help a man. You can't, you can't mess with a man while he's low and everything like that, because they'll leave you the first chance they get. The moment they get on their feet, they gone." Bless, bless. And I know a lot of people will say, "Yo, that video wasn't exactly word for word, exactly like hers," but in a sense, it was, right? Let me explain, right? She's telling you that this guy is good, everything. When when, he, when you're in a relationship, who's the person who usually pays for stuff? usually pays for almost everything right i don't give a damn about that 50 50 bs even with the 50 50 relationship the dude is still going like when they're going out and stuff events and all that the dude is still paying all right so let's just be real let's just have a real conversation the dude is still paying so for a guy to be sending her flowers even after they've broken up that's a special class of simp right so if she said he's still continuously sending her flowers granted she didn't say the frequency of how much uh but you could assume that and i think it would be fair to assume that she, he was probably buying her a lot of stuff probably doing a lot of stuff for her letting her live the soft life to a certain extent of course to a certain extent let's just be real so when he's saying all this stuff it's somewhat the equivalent and see he's able to see this girl's amazing she's great but for some reason she's just not my wife like it, it sounds dumb because a lot of dudes would be like bro you found the one this is the girl but a lot of drinks no matter what oh they always feel this is why i say it's delusion <laughs> they always feel like they can do better it's always somebody better i can get somebody better it don't matter how i look but granted this girl's attractive but she still believes that hey hey i mean that look the looks are only gonna stay for so long right <laughs> that's all it looks only gonna stay for so all right so let's go let's do it five years and she's still not my wife this man is so obsessed with me. He's made like three videos about me in the past, like what, 48 hours. I think at this point, he just wants my attention. So here you go, boo. Here's some attention. I know you're begging for it. Like you want me to talk to you so bad. Here, what what, what conversation do you want to have? It's so funny that these males- I Told you, something about her face. She gives off like crazy in the face. You guys look at, she has the crazy eyes. The, she really gives off like crazy in the face for some reason. That could just be me. I, I, I don't know. Let's, let's keep going. It's so funny that these males get on the internet every single day and when women complain about men they say you chose a pookie choose better that's what they always say right but when we do date with standards and we choose better and we date with discernment they have something to say about that too it just goes to prove you you had a guy that was so perfect that he raised your standards and you decided to leave him for no reason other than the fact that you believe that he wasn't your wife you said you have no complaints about the guy he was pretty much perfect Sending you flowers. I'm gonna still keep talking about that sending flowers. Then. And you're you're comparing that to when we tell you not to go out with Pookie and Ray Ray's. That's the that's the compare. That's the comparison. We're telling you not to go out with a bad guy. You found a good guy, but yet you still okay. They about that too. It just goes to prove that these type of males, they don't say things because they have some kind of conviction or they have some kind of like right or wrong about what they're talking about. They just don't like women because no matter what you do, they will have something negative to say about you. If you become a single mother or if you date a pookie, you date a bum, choose better. But when you choose better and you're like, OK, I really got to, you know, go hard to like really find my husband. They have something to say about that, too. Whether you're right or wrong, these weirdo males will always have something to say. Like, it's kind of weird. At this point, he's obsessed with me. Like, he. Oh, my goodness, y'all. My crush called me boo. <laughs> Amani, babes, come on. Come on. You know, you know, I love you now. You're a money pot. Your content, I love it. And I gotta react. It's the end of the month. Come on now. Sometimes 
I agree with your stuff, but at times you do say some dumb shit. But in this case, you did say some dumb shit. You said he was a good man. He did nothing wrong. He's still sending you flowers. He's a good man. You admitted to it. But then you say you leave him because he's not hubby material. He's not good enough. Good is not good enough. You know how many women beg for good men? But yet, hey, nothing's good enough for you. Women like you, you know, y'all be looking good, but that personality is ferocious. It's terrible. <laughs> but hey, and come on, babes, don't let me get to your head, babes. You didn't have to block me. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Good old fashioned trolling at the end, right there. I'm sorry. He he had me weak. <laughs> he popped into the video, so I'm sorry. That was funny. But um, yeah, man. Uh, I'm glad that he exposed the hypocrisy, right? The hypocrisy. Um, she's not making any damn sense. And I wonder if it's one of those things that she knows that that she's wrong and she sounds stupid, but she's like, F it, I'm just gonna die on this. <laughs> I'm just gonna double down and just die on this joint, right? Um, but yeah, man, I'm trying to tell a lot of dudes, watch out when you're out here trying to be a sniper, right? You're trying to find the right joint that you can take home to your family and everything. Watch out, you might find one like this that no matter what you do, she's still gonna think that it's not good enough. I'm, I'm sorry, I keep repeating myself, but how can your standards be? You said your standards were high. This guy exceeded your standards. Now, you want your standards to be even higher than what this guy exceeded. Oh my God, it's like, where are the older women who are supposed to come out and help the youth? Right, the older woman's be like, "Baby girl, you found, you found the one. I wish I could find a guy like that, but you decided." I don't know what what was that. That sounded like that sounded like Medea and like a traditional weird caricature <laughs> voice of a uh, what do you call it? A church, a old church woman. I don't know, church black, black church woman. Just just, just put the put the static on. Huh? But yeah, man, I, I, like I said earlier in the video, I really want to see how this turns out in the future for her. Um, the unfortunate thing is she's attractive uh, and she got a nice body, too. I saw the, saw some pics. She got some yams. So there's always going to be a guy that's going to be willing to be there to try to be her boyfriend. Right. At least for now. God forbid, you know, she gets a little bit older. Metabolism starts slowing down. Or God forbid she has a baby and she doesn't. She's not serious about working out. It's lights. It's lights out. It's curtains. Then her expectations are going to start dropping a little. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I think then in the future she's gonna realize, okay, this was this was this was a bad choice. She's not gonna admit it. She's just gonna be like, ain't no good niggas out here, niggas ain't shit. The guys nowadays are worse than they ever been and all that stuff. She's not gonna take accountability for the fact that she had a real good guy and decided to have that guy walk. Hey, but what do I know though? I'm just a guy on the internet. Let's pray for him when he talks. You know what I'm saying? Let's pray for him. Uh, but if you stay this long. I appreciate you. I love you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as with the post notification. That way you'll be more than fresh to hear the voice. Same time, leave a like, comment, all that stuff. And that's all I got to say. Peace and blessings. You're welcome, folks. And I'm out.